Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey uh, and welcome to weekly tips. We're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be drawing a ladybug. So let's fly on into this and draw this ladybug. So once I've gathered the reference as usual for this bug here, as it is a beetle, it's a ladybug, it's a beetle. That means it has the three parts, it has the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. If you can see here, the actual head is a little kind of roundish head there. And then you've got the thorax there, and also the abdomen. Now knowing this helps you to draw um, and understand as well the creature you are drawing. Um, the bug knowing the, the different parts that this uh, creature has. It helps quite a bit um, when drawing it in different angles um, and also just drawing it in general. And to understand the shapes you are looking for um, when you're drawing something like this, you know, a beetle, a ladybug. Um, you know, from there I'm just kind of breaking up the shapes. Um, at first, you know, I thought, you know, that head part was all kind of one, I'll draw all as one, but actually it's easier to, to uh, go back and, and break it up, um, because it's definitely, you know, that little head, and then you've got, um, the thorax just, you know, above the head, and then you've got the abdomen, which are, is actually kind of under the wings, um, per se, but you still have kind of that wing covering. Um, here I draw a top angle view and with the wings spread out so I can kind of see um, under their wings a little bit just to understand a little bit of the shapes that go um, under the form, under the basic form shape that you see. Um, <laughs> now you know you kind of see some of these um, bugs around ladybugs and you, when you do see them they look like little circles running around the different shapes and different colors um, but the the circle part is actually the the wings that you see um, put together and that's what you kind of see roaming around but they actually if you look closer this is what they're actually made out of um, now you know the whole shape could be um, pretty circular but it's a little bit off the circle um, to be 100% accurate, basically. Um, but yeah, you could, um, you know, draw a whole circle to, to start off your bug, to start off this beetle and start to um, break it up to the different parts as well. Um, I mean, the, the wings look like half circles, basically. Um, yeah, and the abdomen has that kind of rounder shape there. And here I'm just fixing up uh, slight little details and things like that. Um, and adding in some dots and, and, and little things that don't exactly matter too much. Um, it's just a little bit extra um, that I like to do sometimes, you know. Adding those little touches, um, yeah, to the drawing. Then I do another top angle view um, with its wings, you know attached <laughs> fully closed um and also i do that to also see the legs all spread out you know what kind of um legs do these beetles have yeah and just to see their whole shape and everything like that so doing it in this view can be very helpful to understand the ladybug um, and again, you know, you see me add the little extras, the dots, and um, those little wet ridges as well. I, s I slightly add those ridges um, where, because the, the actual um, wings actually curve over the kind of body. It gives it a whole kind of cocoon to put its legs in as well. Um, if you ever kind of picked... A ladybug up and investigated it you can kind of see um, a little bit more 
of its body. I could have also done an underview, that would have been interesting to see that. I have seen an underview before and I would, I would love to have drawn it. Um, <laughs> one day if I'm uh, going to do ladybugs again in the future, um, I might do an underview. If, you know, if I wanted to understand a little bit more about ladybugs. Um, and these things always help understanding other animals, insects and all sorts. Um, because you can apply what you learn in, you know, drawing a certain thing and apply it to something else, you know. Um, this beetle will be similar to another beetle you might draw. Um, yeah, there's the same kind of structure. Um, but the ladybug might be different, but, you know, some of the techniques and things that you learn um, might help. So I do, you see me do a kind of three-quarter view, and then I go on to another three-quarter view that's kind of my <laughs> final drawing, per se. Um, and, yeah, let's just draw this angle. It's pretty simple, this one. Um... A bit of fix-ups and, and play arounds, trying to get things right and trying to get that kind of spherical, um, the the whole shape of his body there, um, as accurate as I can, creating that shape, um, yeah. Um, but, you know, with this insect in particular, most of the shapes are there for you, you just have to kind of um, copy the shapes, as in the, the different body parts has the shapes for you, so you just draw those shapes. Um, opposing to other little animals that um, may be bigger, and you have to kind of build the shapes around it to, um, yeah. <laughs> they don't come as easy, basically. But yeah, from there, um, I then redraw, you know, a top angle view. Um, just because you know, might have seen, I've seen something in another angle, and I've looked at this one, and it's like I'm I'm not 100% happy with it, and that's fine. You know, you go back and forth between drawings, um, because yeah, you might notice something that's different, and it's like, oh, well, is that true to the other drawing I did, or the the other view, the other angle, um, as well as I do fix up the legs as well. And those little things that I do um, play around with and notice in other drawings that I do. Um, that's something different. How it like, for instance, you might have noticed that it also has uh, like a wing sticking out or um, a certain <laughs> a certain feature to its leg. Or, you know, you might notice something different um, that you didn't notice in another angle. And that's always good. Um, and you can always go back and retweak your different angles um, to fully understand, you know, like if you notice that um, in this angle he actually has a, a beak or something somewhere that you didn't notice in a previous story, um, sometimes it makes it a little bit more understanding of the image you were trying to draw before of a side view or something that you didn't know what that was and you're like oh that's what it was you know um so understanding your animal and doing different views all those things can really help in drawing in a um you know with different animals different creatures even this ladybug here and different beetles you know so hopefully you've enjoyed drawing this ladybug it was fun for me, and you know, it wasn't uh, too hard per se in like time, didn't take me too much time to draw ladybugs. Um, but that's you know, that's how you kind of actually draw them. I know there's also cartoon ways to draw them and sphere called you know, drawing spheres and putting like dots on them and things like that. But um, this is the accurate way of drawing them. So hopefully, you have fun drawing them, drawing them in these different angles. Um, understanding the different shapes, you could make your own how-to if you like, you know, um, you can make a system of how to draw them, um, if you like, if you keep drawing them and understand what their bodies are made of, you could do a little how to draw and maybe cartoonize them if you like, um, 
yeah so hopefully you've learned something in this video let me know down below what your thoughts are keep drawing keep creating and see you in the next video